Look at that crispy little high five that took place right there. He just went a period. <laughs> My name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And we are continuing on my 17 marathon. We're taking a look at Crazy in Love. This is going to be a choreography video. Definitely excited about it. Let's take a watch. Dynamics, okay. Huh, he is the only one wearing color. Do you see that? Okay. What do you think about it? The choreography itself is, it's more strict in the lines. It has some nice accents in their polyrhythms, but it's not as physically demanding as some of their earlier choreographies that we've seen. Did y'all see that um, transition right there? This is a second cut. <laughs> He's dabbing right now. Oh, I like the double on that. Well, this section is significantly more difficult to do compared to the first choreo uh, course choreography, so it makes sense why they may have needed to mask it. That was nice. Love this groove here. It, it helps ride the tempo and the beat in a way you want your audience to hear, which I love. <laughs> Did you hear that crispy little high five that took place right there? He just went a period. <laughs> That was cute. That was nice. Um, definitely on the more subtle side, not quite as choreographically dense as some of their other things that we've already seen from them. But taking a look back here, really, really nice. I love the little typewriter sound. You can hear that my my keyboard is also a typewriter, like mechanical keyboard. So it's nice to hear that here because I'm so used to hearing it every day. How they start in the beginning. It's very nice where they choose different ways to get everybody towards the front. 
which is really, which is kind of fun. Oh, actually, no, they all end up doing the same thing, um, but it just looks slightly different because of the angle I have, but it's really nice. I like that here. Doom, doom, boom. As they hit it, they all branch out. They're peeking. They're like, what is that? Super fun. That da 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 da. Very nice. That doodle. -doo -doo. It sounds like a like a doodle doodle doodle. -doo. <laughs> so I think it's a fun choice that they made there. The little heart, and he's writing. I know most of this is all wordplay, but it's really fun that they're creating all these little moments in the back with a little clap. Yeah. I love this too, they create a little tunnel. We've seen that before and they choose to interweave themselves through it or frame themselves. That gives a very, um, what is it? Uh, James Bond-esque aesthetic here. Now we have one of our, one of our guys featuring out on the side and then we have a new setup of people. And then what's nice is with their feature, he's traveling and um, the one who has finished being featured, he is stationary, but my one, he is the only one that is facing front and actually directing himself to the camera. So it is nice that it's very easy to pinpoint who your feature is there, which I really, really like. And then from here, they go into a wave. It's really nice to see the connection between all of their hands as they do that. And he has, it, one of them was touching his chest. That was funny. And they go around, da da da, boom! Ah, that was nice. I like that too. Da da da, hoo, do do do, hoo. That was a really nice moment. Mmm. -hmm. Let's take a look back at this, shall we? So when you notice what he does, so he goes, and then he goes back. And then he pushes it back and then drops it down. So he did like a subtle head ISO to travel it. That was freaking sick. And then he twists his shoulder in to kind of frame them out. Everybody is framed on the side. Let's do a little count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have all thirteen here. Wonderful. I love, I love watching a 17 choreo with all members. I feel like it's complete feels like I get to see the full picture and the full intention of what they wanted us to see. So I really like that. I love that they're the only ones moving. The knocks are really nice. The build up is super nice. And he's the only one who kind of pushed down everybody else, put their whole body down as well as their head. He did not. So it was nice to naturally focus on him in the center, which was enjoyable. They pull away. Now we have a new formation. Now it is important your timing here is you want to make sure everybody's turned around before you have your one person end up turning because then you naturally want to watch him because he is the last one that is not turned right so i would say the only person that kind of shows symptoms of being a little too late would be this guy right here moving on into the course it's right here bah, da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. so they really do build it up beautifully but they have a really nice cool chic cool kid vibe about it when they do some of their grooves it's just a kick like a kickball change is what we're seeing here really nice so if you notice that a lot of their torso is restricted, but it's not because it's an absence of groove, it's either they're just choosing to really focus on the extremities and create tension. And by creating tension, a lot of times will stem from locking up the torso to really create that nice pristine vibe instead of creating legato grooves out of it. So I'm very much enjoying this because this is a different concept that they're doing. That was nice too. Doom. Da, da, da. You know, so they have that moment and then they kind of breathe and relax through it. And two, normally whenever people go with a, with a sustain with the leg and then they hit the arms over, normally I say something about ah, maybe they should have fully extended the range, but because every single person did it the exact same way, it doesn't matter. And I think it looks really nice. So that's a great example of clarifying and solidifying your grooves or your extensions and how you want them to come across, which is really nice. And also notice too, everybody was transitioning. He was the only one that kind of backed up, still engaged with his grooves, what have you. So that was still very enjoyable. And he's also the only one that is still um, in the center and making eye contact. Eye contact's a really big thing for them. And it's really nice to see that they are intentional about that because it makes it easier on the audience member to know who we need to look at. If you look here too, He's the only one 
that gave a second look. If you think about it, he started, he looked before he did the groove and then he's the first one to look again. And that's how you know who to look at. That was really nice. And also this groove, da, 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 and then they go, ch -ch -ch -ch, then they go back into it. I love the little interruption groove there. It's so fun. Uh huh. How they hit the percussion, do 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 do, with a twist. Uh, not quite a twist to flex, but definitely um, more of the isolation twisting here, which is super nice. I love that da 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 with the peel out. The hands love that. Bring it in. Then we still have on crazy love. That's probably our key move there. Where there one of them is staying up. Everyone else is dipping down just a little bit more. This was sick, and they went fast too. Bleed it into the next verse, and then they tense tensed it up. But they've also too. They've been one of the very few groups that I've noticed. They use their hand signals, even though he's controlling him or he's like signaling to him. No one else sees that. So it's really nice. It gives the appearance that he's controlling everybody as a whole, not just the one individual person. And that's really fun. And I've seen that a couple times throughout multiple choreographies from Seventeen. It's just a really fun gimmick. It's a side baby thing that they may just do themselves. Or maybe it was like, hey, do something to where it shows that you're stopping them. And that may be their go-to. I love it. Every single time I see it, I love it because they do it so well and they fully commit every single time. It's wonderful. Then it goes da 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 da, and it hits that tone really well. Everybody bleeds down, do 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 do. And then we see we see this. They like to make little houses for each other, keep each other warm. Oh, so sweet. He pulls it in, and what's nice is by him doing that, it looks like he's pulling all of his members in to reset up on the outside. He walks out. Then we have someone new. Oh, so nice. They all come out, and they're looking like ah, oh, ah. Oh, this feels like one of those like chill hype hype people that they're giving them. It's just really fun. Super chill moment. They're like, what? We get an A count to just stand there and snap? Who are we? I just think that's really fun because I've had those conversations with my students when I give them choreography that's like uh, grooves on both sides. Normally I don't do that unless it's a drill, but in choreography I'm like, we're gonna do it on the second side and they're like, oh, we get to do the same groove on both sides, who are you? It's just really fun. So I bet they have those conversations where they do such intricate and difficult choreography. And then they get a choreo like this where they have moments where they get to actually breathe. They're like, are you sure? Are we allowed to do this? Like it feels kind of like a crime sometimes whenever you're so used to a certain concept or construct of choreography. I just love it. I just think it's fun to see these moments here. And I will say it again, he is the only one that is in purple and everybody else is in black and white. And what's funny is it just shows the caliber of the group as a whole. He didn't stick out to me until this happened. And I think that's so weird because normally you would be like, oh, they're wearing it and you naturally wanted to look at them. But I didn't that entire time. And that was really cool. And then I noticed him after he was featured. So that's kudos to 17 for maintaining performance based on the feature. Very impressive. I love that he's having his own moment. They're backing him up on the wordplay, hitting the tone with the kicks. And then you have one person in the center right behind him that's not quite doing it. So he does appear to be like a secondary vocalist behind his feature, which is probably what we're about to see here. Yeah, there we go. So and I, here's the thing. I know I just saw it, but it's still my first. That was my first time watching it. So I did forget details immediately. But I really like how they chose to make their shape, having one person up top. Very nice, clean, predictable way to do this. He goes around. So it's nice you get to see this particular isolation front and back it was kind of like a here's a here's an aud not audition here's a demonstration here's a tutorial on how to do this progression we'll show it forwards then we'll show it backwards i just think it's really fun um and subtle satisfying meets the dynamic criteria that they've already set in tone and context and they met it here and i i'm maybe he was the one who did this the first time too i'm going to assume yes but i really like that how instead of going to the front yeah he was uh they are on different they're on the same side so one of them's turned around so that was really fun but when you notice here you have them just going to different spots but he is still the only one that is looking front everybody else I know he was subtly looking forward for a little bit of that transition but it was still very nice to see new feature he peels in to his spot he peels out of his spot and then they reset getting ready to go again that wow as he goes and turns the back arms up I love that 
da 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 So it does look like they're about to do a little bit of whacking, but they don't. It's just more of a refined position using the back, making sure that they're using all aspects of their movement so it's full and focused all the way through from point A to point B. Really great. You know, and I will say I'm not noticing it as much in this one as I do notice in their more complex choreos. Their range is pretty clean here too. Not just the content, not just the transitions, not just the dynamics or timing or musicality. I think their range looks pretty in check here. I'm hopeful to see more refinement of that as we see them throughout the different eras of their choreography. But it is definitely really nice to see their improvement as a group here, even though we know they've been working great together prior to like, you know, prior to debut, they were working great together. And that's why a lot of people are captivated by them. But it's just nice to see them be more refined even now. I love that with the kind of heel, uh, kind of exposing itself out there. That was really nice. I love that. Dun, 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 dun. I like that too. Da, 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 da. And then just having one person, even those people setting up in the back and one person going to the side, he's doing a great job maintaining tension here. And part of it stems from he's the only one looking at you. Then they go da 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 da, then more people join in. Then here, I know it looks, I really think that this is a second video because of that transition. Because I've used this transition before, I'm gonna look at it one more time. It is. That just shows you though, if that makes you question it, shows you how clean they are and how close in range they are in their formations. But this is a different take. I'm going to call that right now because that is, they did a cross dissolve on that bad boy. <laughs> if I, if I need to, if I need to cite a, a transition edit. I love this too, where he's sitting there on, like he's on a table and he's, uh, he's writing out his thoughts and and <laughs> I actually really like this. I didn't catch it the first time, goodness. But I really love seeing the, it's just, I don't know why my brain's breaking right now, but that's really fun. I just like that, that's fun. That's funny, they're gonna go do a little dab. That really shows the age of this video, man. Love it. And he goes, huh? <laughs> That was really fun getting the double on that with everybody and then just having one of our features go back in. This dance break, it makes sense why they had two videos because this dance break is significantly more demanding physically and it's a lot of it is in unison just like in the first course. But the first course I think is way easier to get clean compared to this section. There's a lot of uh, stability things you have to factor in. You have to factor in one leg balances. Some of the grooves are more aggressive in how you have to make them fuller. Even this groove right here, popping it off, bringing it down into a tension, into a body roll as you come back up, shaking it off the formations. It's not as simple as do an aggressive groove and then chill out. It's a aggressive groove with a minorly aggressive groove into a one leg stability, into something smooth and legato with a transition. So it's more polyrhythmic or more physically demanding between the texture shifts in this course versus the other courses, which I really like. I built it brilliantly. I love the, I love this zoom. Data and accenting off of our feature. Our feature is the only one not moving in a circular motion, which is why he sticks out. Really nice to see everybody drop and frame out, having everybody's hands out to the side. Some people do have this curve and some people have it more flat. So that is just, you have, I call it the Ken hand versus the, um, well, both would be, this is like left Ken hand, right Ken hand. So like they're subtly different, right? Well, one of them has more of a, of a protruding finger and then one is more, chill not like a jazz hand but a relaxed jazz hand right so that would just be something to clarify you see how like micro of an issue that truly is though some of them just have it turned in some of them have it turned out it's also that simple that's just wild to me it's so clean and normally you don't expect this level of cleanliness from idols and i know they were one of the people that were part of the era of this becoming now an expectation because they were the ones who made it possible <laughs> you know and i would say bts is another group that was a part of the conversation around that era as well before they popped off in america that was a topic of conversation for their cleanliness of a lot of their routines though it is nice to see this year with 17 that they've really showcased this from the get-go from the jump which also you know could probably work against other idol groups because uh other idol groups now it's an expectation that they got to be on par with this level of caliber if they're choosing to pursue concepts of similar nature because people are saturated in this level of intricacy and difficulty 
I love this where he pulls the shirt, triggers everybody to get started. And now everyone's in different directions, so it makes it look more like a like a really chill party, <laughs> you know? It's fun. That did it, did it. Mm-hmm. It's just really nice how they're not allowing the upper body to be overly influenced by the percussion interpretation of the lower body. I really appreciate that. It shows that they're they're truly very fluent in this particular fingerprint of movement, which is just so fun and enjoyable. I love it. I love this, the drapery through. Grace and love. And they finish and then he does a little ready right. And he goes, a period. So all in all, this was really great. It definitely meets my expectations of what to expect from 17 when it is a comeback of theirs. I have been caught in the middle on a couple of these where it's so simple, but they're so committed in performance. But I realize it's not even their dance or it's not even their song and they just covered it so i have to like really make sure that i'm looking at is this a 17 comeback track or is it a cover that they did and they're having fun with it i can kind of tell based on the intricacies the complexity the investment the formations the tailored to the 13 membered equivalents of this but it is still so fun to just take a look at all these different concepts that they're pursuing and they're doing it with such class and they're doing it and they're adding value to these songs with these movements. It's not the other way around and I absolutely love it and they really do get to showcase their artistry here and I cannot wait to keep going on these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I was helpful in some way. Um, just this whole se series of watching and reacting to 17 has been nothing short of a joy and I'm definitely right in the thick of it. I got so many left to react to at this point in time. By the time this makes its way to YouTube, there's a very good chance that all of these have been reacted to. And so if you are a carrot and you want to see more 17 reactions from me and they're not all quite to snuff on YouTube quite yet, I do have them all on YouTube, uh, Patreon for you to go and check out. And uh, once again, I'm Jess and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.